Yo, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com Hanging out. Hopefully we don't get cut off today. Um, give me some quick feedback, guys, if you're on. Um, we are blasting the mini truck. I've got, like, paint on my... <laughs> so, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hopefully we don't cut out. I'm glad that we're not cut out so far. How's everybody doing? I miss you all. Thanks for jumping on. Uh, I've been working on the truck. Had a little late start today, about 11 o'clock. It's four o'clock right now. I had to run to Lowe's because my mask was busted. I had to buy another mask. Uh, what's up, VIP? And that took some time out of my day. And um, it's been, you know, it's been very time consuming, actually. So I've been mixing concoctions here, uh, spraying. I got X Finishes Pearls right here. We just did the moon dust. Um, I'm about to lay the silver right now, taking a little break. So I'll show you the truck really quickly so far, what we got. Okay, so here is how it's looking. We did all of the white base coat. All right, so I literally put about three coats of white base and it was like a refrigerator white. But once I laid down the moon dust white pearl, it, it softened it up and the pearl, I mean, it looks really awesome. There's no clear coat on this yet. It's hard to see. There's no clear coat on it yet. You could kind of see the sheen here. No clear coat, but we got the moon dust. We mixed it in some DBC 500, which is like a, a, it's a color blender, which is like clear base coat. So we mixed this, uh, we did the moon dust white pearl and we used the Atom X20 spray gun and also the mini X16 this morning for doing all the little areas. So the door jams are all done. If we look inside. Okay. I wanted to actually put a teal graphic in here, but the timing, you know, it's just, this is very time consuming work, uh, especially when you're doing multiple colors like this. Yeah, I filmed everything. Everything is on HD video. I got my head cam and my GoPro battery ran out, so I had to go plug it in so it's charging um, as we speak. So if we look at the tailgate, right, like I told you, just the top rail is gonna be white. The rest of it is gonna be teal. Uh, from this line, I don't know if you see this line here, down, we're gonna shoot it teal. So I, it's gonna take me about an hour and a half or so to mask everything and then get it ready for teal. So as you see here, everything's painted, right? We got all these pieces done. Um, we put some adhesion promoter on the mirrors and we also base coated the mirrors and put our pearl on it. So that's pretty much how she's sitting right now. Looking really good. Did the roof. All right, did inside. Okay, looking, it's laying down really nice. No chemical reactions, nothing. So I just wanted to tune in really quickly, say what's up uh, before I spray the, the silver. So these are gonna be silver here. Okay, silver going in the front. Front bumper cover. I'm not looking at the chat, guys, sorry. Front bumper cover is gonna be silver. I'm actually gonna mix it up right now and spray the silver. Uh, the bottom of the truck. So I wanted to talk about tube tape. Tube tape is a very interesting product. Uh, if we take a look at tube tape right here. Okay, they were generous enough to send me two boxes to review. Uh, I've looked at the product. We're going to use the product uh, to basically tape up our door jams. They come in two different sizes. And I'll, I will be making an independent review on this. You can see that this size is a little bigger in diameter. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I can tell you right now, it's not cheap to make this. this is, there's a lot of work involved uh, creating this here. And this is the small roll, 
right? So what I want to do is, let me just explain to you what the deal is going to be here. I'm going to have to mask up this area in here, okay? Because I don't want my silver going in. I don't want my silver overspray going in. So we're going to use the tube tape to mask up our door jam here quickly. So when we shut our door, okay, and when, when we spray our silver base down here, we're not going to have to worry about silver base going in. All right? You guys still there? Okay. That's paint on my face. So that's the deal. So the deal is we got the white done. Silver is going to be sprayed next on the bottom. Then we're going to mask up the top, mask up the bottom, and shoot the teal in the middle and across the front. All right. So that's the uh, game plan there. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to work right now, mix up some silver base coat. Um, I'll have everything on video, and then we're going to blast the silver quick and, uh, and paint it. Yeah, this truck is looking sweet. I mean, look at the sheen. Look at this sheen. On that thing. All right, so I'll catch up later. Maybe I'll do another YouTube live tonight, uh, depending on how much I get done. So what I want to do is actually have all of the, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all of the base coat done. If I can get into clearing tonight, I'll clear it, but it seems like it's getting late. So I might just end today with the base coat. Tomorrow morning, shoot two, three coats of clear and I'll be done because I know it's gonna take me probably two hours of masking for the teal. All right? Yes, we use the Atom X20 and Mini X16 for the door jams. And let me tell you, you do need a mini gun getting in here with the door jams. I mean, doing any door jams because it's hard with a big gun to get in here. With the mini gun, you can get in really easily and I was able to, to lay my base coat all inside there as you can see. You know, all down here, we got it all done. And it looks really good. So I can't wait till it's done. This is actually a very tedious project. Small truck, but a lot of tedious work to it. A lot of time consuming work because of uh, the multicolor. Because you gotta remember, I did white base coat, which is one color. Then I had to mix my color blender, my clear base coat with the Moon Dust Pro, then go over with that. So that's like another paint job. Then I'm going to lay the silver right on the bottom. Then I'm going to mix another clear base coat to put some mini flake in it. Um, because we're doing, uh, we're doing clear coat at the very end, right? So that's the deal. Usually I would mix, usually I would mix uh, my flake or even pearl in the clear because you can get away with that. You could do that. But... Because we're doing so many multicolors, I want to do the clear at the final, at the very end, with just clear coat. So it will enhance, I mean, the pearl will be, you know, pearl's in the base coat, the flake is in the base coat, and uh, it's going to look freaking pimp. Yeah, this base came out really nice. And guys, I have everything on, on footage, on better video footage for you, so, so don't worry about that. All right, so I'll be back later, guys. Thanks for checking in, and uh, it should be done very soon. We're going to throw about two medium heavy coats of clear coat on this thing. All right, peace out. Cheers. I'll probably do one later tonight after we got the silver done. Would you guys want that? You guys want me to do one later tonight or no? It's up to you. I don't care. I don't mind hopping on in a couple of hours. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, get back to work, shoot the silver. Um, and mask up for teal and then maybe blast the teal because it's going to take me I estimated an hour and a half for masking but then I looked at it and I was like oh god this is going to take a longer than <laughs> longer than an hour and a half so I'll be back on later tonight probably later tonight 
Um, I don't think I'm going to make clearing it tonight because it's already 4.30. I'll probably be done with the, with the color around 7.30, 8.30. So I'll probably clear it tomorrow. All right? So I'll be back on later tonight. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll be back on in a few hours. Cheers.